Today we had news that Samsung will be officially announcing the Galaxy A90 5G. There have been leaks about this for a little while. There had been leaked specifications, leaked retail boxes and leaked renders of the phone. This was tipped to be a phone with higher specs, but a cheaper price point. Who doesn't like that? So the A90 5G is an attempt from Samsung to tempt customers into buying a 5G phone, but offering them an alternative to buying a prohibitively expensive flagship like the Note 10 Plus for well over a thousand dollars. Not to mention the A90 5G being a 5G phone actually needs at least a Snapdragon 855 to be paired with that X50 modem. And yeah, that's what they've put in it. And I'm sure this device will do well in certain markets as it offers flagship specs, but cuts back in certain areas that most customers just don't place most emphasis on. A trick that Chinese smartphone manufacturers have been doing for a long time now, but we'll get onto that in a minute. Now these are still leaks, they're not 100% official, but this launch is imminent. So with that said, let's have a look at the specs list of the A90 5G. Of course, starting with that Snapdragon 855, it has a triple camera at the back with a 48 megapixel main sensor and an ultra wide, but no zoom camera, just a depth sensor. That will help with portrait images, an OLED screen, you'd expect nothing less from Samsung, an underscreen fingerprint sensor. But interestingly, if you look at the design in general, it's nothing groundbreaking. It's not anything like the real flagship phones that we see from Samsung. It has a really good looking specs sheet, but cuts back in the design area. Not a bad design, but not the most cutting edge. That's a trick that Chinese smartphone manufacturers have been using for a while now. So let's get onto that. So they have to offer a cheaper version of a 5G phone to tempt people into 5G. Otherwise, they're gonna fall behind to other brands, namely Xiaomi, Huawei, and the BBK brands, Oppo, Vivo, OnePlus. So here's why that's difficult. Samsung flagship phones have always been way more expensive than any of the Chinese brand phones. Now they justify that by having the absolute latest and greatest technology in those devices. Those devices have absolutely no compromises. They are more expensive, but they carry the absolute latest design and specifications from Samsung. But if the A90 5G is a cheaper version of a phone where Samsung has cut back in some areas, then it comes into line with a lot of those Chinese brands. So we have to ask ourselves the question, are these Chinese brands really pushing themselves up to that level or will Samsung still offer a more premium experience overall? Interesting to know your thoughts. I think the only winners in this are you and me getting a lot of new tech, hopefully for cheaper prices. Anyway, that's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.